So have you ever thought about the concept of reality testing? And I think a lot of people who are into personal development, who are into coaching, self-coaching, um, helping others, um, forget about the importance of reality testing. But other than that, reality testing is, is one of the markers um, or elements of emotional intelligence. Um, it's also important that let's say you're listening to somebody else's story and they are having an emotion about this story. And let's say it's really amped up, like super negative and crying. And you just readily assume that this person is accurately reality testing. Where, let's say, they're actually blowing things completely out of proportion. They have a, a high level of stress uh, in, a, in a very normal situation, or they may even interpret the situation wrong as to what it, because they think they know what somebody else is thinking, feeling, or believing. The mind reading, we say in NLP. And, and so there's also a situation where someone doesn't really respond emotionally at all. Like they're completely um, sort of disconnected, where actually things are falling apart. There's really big things going on. Now, you can argue like, well, isn't it nice to be cool, calm, and collected when shit is hitting the van? Yeah, that's true. But when we're having a human experience, at some point, we need to let those emotions out and process them. Okay? So that can also, on that side, reality testing can be really be influenced by actually not seeing the gravity of the reality that of what's going on, but also the reality of where you're at. Because sometimes the reality of knowing where you're at or knowing where the client is at allows you to propel into action, to, to solve that pain impulse. Where if you're overreacting to a situation, then you may want to act or communicate in ways that are, are not really useful to you. Even when you start ruminating and spinning it in your mind and making it worse, then you kind of get stuck in that, if that makes sense at all. So as a coach, as a helper, you need to really go, well, what's the reality testing here? Is the person that I am trying to coach or help or understand how accurate is the reality testing here. And it's also for you yourself also to really go, how am I reality testing myself? Okay. What am I doing about it? So now instead of just explaining these concepts that you need to keep into your back of your mind, if you want to help others or coach others, is that, well, what can you do about it? I think that in NLP is one of the things that I teach next to positive uh, psychology, emotional intelligence, and personality profiling. And if you're actually interested in actually learning about where I teach and what I teach, just visit the website. I train in amazing locations, such as Bali and Venice Beach and Mexico and Amsterdam, sometimes in Miami. And so um, amazing seminars and online as well. And later this summer, I'm going to have some products releasing about stress and sleep, anxiety and worry. So that's all coming. And so here's the thing. Well, what can you do? Well, when you have a given situation and you're experiencing, let's say, an emotion, you are what we call in NLP in the first perceptual position. You're looking through your own eyes, right? Where, so if we need to taper that emotion down and we need to reality test it, it would help you to, let's say, float your mind out of your body, your awareness out of your body and look at yourself. And what happens then is that you drop the emotion. You become an observer of yourself. We call that also dissociation. So that's a really elegant way of doing that. You can also, if there's someone else involved, 
You can float your mind into their shoes and then you look through their eyes and see what they would see, hear what they would hear, feel what they would feel. You can also step into a group position you know, what's that? What's going? What's going on with the group as a whole? Am I assessing that right? And so those are all options. And let's say you're too cool, calm, and collected, even though things are falling apart. Now, sometimes when things indeed are falling apart, we want to be that observer. But when it's time to let's say grief or mourn or process. We want to float our mind into our own shoes and to look through our own eyes and to experience the emotion and process the emotion rather than bottling it up. So that's a little bit about reality testing and, and what you could do. And so if you're a coach, you can talk someone else into these different positions. If you're doing this for yourself, then you can visualize it that way. So that's a little tip on reality testing.